What's up YouTube, Israel back here with a quick video. Got another review uh, video for you guys today. Today we're gonna be talking about um, this Christmas present I got from my lovely girlfriend. It is the Light Spur RX from the company Nathan. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of notes here, so I will be reading a few little tidbits off of this. But I actually will start by saying that I did buy um, a product similar to this um, on Wish uh, like a year or two ago, and they're very, very cheap. And when I received them, I see what they, they were doing. And I want to say that I read something about these uh, heel spurs or whatever you want to call them, shoe spurs. Um, they're supposed to light up while you run and just, you know, for you running at night, they're supposed to be for safety. But the ones I got from Wish were really cheap, so you guys don't go there first to try to save some money because, uh, you know, they're, uh, they weren't that great. Um, and they only send you one, much like these. So that'd be my first complaint with this, uh, is they only give you one. They should sell them in by twos, but I guess you don't need, technically you don't need two of them to work, uh, for it to work. Um, so yeah, so this is the Nathan Lightspur RX LED footlight. Um, and it is Ragnar approved. I think they're like a fitness company. I don't really know a lot about them, but it's like on the package right here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Ragnar is, but it's right there. Um, and these retail for $29.95. Now I did get, some, did get this one cheaper on eBay. Um, uh, so, so like I mentioned, uh, or if I didn't mention this, my girl, uh, girlfriend got me one. I guess maybe she thought that they came with two. Um, so she got me one and so I went ahead and got myself the other one because I need to have two of these. And, uh, so one is out of the package and, um, uh, this one is in the package, uh, received this one today. But, um, so I think she got hers from Amazon for about maybe 15, 20 bucks, but I found, I got a really great price on mine. It was the last one on eBay. I think it was like 11, 50 or 12 bucks shipped. So I think that was a pretty good price for this considering they are 29.95 for a brand new one. Um, and I think I found them online at jackrabbit.com. So you guys, if you guys want to just go ahead and pay full price, you guys can go on there. I, I, they're probably a little bit cheaper on there actually, not think about it. Um, anyway, so I will read a few things about this uh, product. Um, it says, uh, be seen and stay safe while running or biking at night with this super bright, a uh, lightweight LED that securely clips on your shoe. And I will show you that in a minute, how it clips on. All right, so this thing, the features of this um, product uh, simply and securely attaches to the heel of your shoe. Um, it is RGB lights, so red, green, and blue uh, LED lights, uh, three different options. And I'll show you guys how that works in a sec. Uh, super lightweight, so, you don't, so you don't feel a thing. Uh, multi settings for high visibility and added safety. Uh, you can be seen up to 2,400 feet or uh, 732 meters, which is quite a, quite a ways, I think. Um, it is micro USB rechargeable. Um, if this thing is completely dead, you can uh, charge it all the way back up um, in three hours, which is pretty good. I mean, if it's, I don't know, if it, I'll tell you the hour time here, but you know, charging it back up fully in three hours is pretty, it's pretty quick. Um, now it is, uh, whenever you turn it on, it does turn red. Whenever you plug it in to charge, if it's dead, it'll be red. And when it's fully charged, it will be green. So, you know, stop and go. So kind of pretty easy, but this is a pretty light, uh, pretty bright light here. So you'll, you know, you be able to know when it's fully charged and ready to go. Um, this does fit most shoe sizes up to a 15. Uh, I guess by then you're, you're getting a little wide in the back here. Uh, the specs or the specifications for this product uh, again, two LED lights. I guess there's two inside, uh, even though it looks like it goes all the way around. It says there's only two. Uh, three lumens max output. Uh, that is a, I guess, like a level of brightness. I uh, don't really know how bright three lumens is, but I've seen this on before. It's, it's decently bright, especially if you're out in, in the dark. Um, the battery is USB rechargeable. Uh, LI Ion. I don't know how to really pronounce that. Polymer battery. Uh, the runtime is eight hours if you leave it on continuously, um, which is just like the solid light, doesn't blink or anything like that, uh, for eight hours if you leave it on continuously. 12 hours on strobe, uh, and there's two different strobes. One's fast, one's a uh, little bit slower. I will show you that in a sec as well. Um, so here are the usage instructions. I might as well just show you guys how it works. Uh, but here's the packaging. Again, comes in a cool little packaging. Don't really, I'm not a big fan of this kind of packaging because I feel like if you use it and you don't like it and you want to send it back, like you have to tear the whole thing off. And I feel weird about sending something back when it's already so like torn up. But anyway, um, so yeah, so the us uh, usage instructions for this, here's the power button. Here is the USB port or the micro USB port here. It's, um, uh, kind of has a little rubber flap here. It, this is waterproof. Um, it is IPX4 water resistant. Uh, and I'm guessing that's pretty good. It looks like it's pretty solid. It's like one solid piece here. Not really many like cracks or crevices for water to really get in. And this is, uh, 
you can see there it is like waterproof um, uh, on, on, right there with this little flap here. We do have the power button there. It says Nathan right here on the side. So to turn it on, it says press and hold the power button for two to three seconds. So here's the power button. So one, two, three, and it's on. Uh, so then, so obviously you can see the color red. Uh, once on, double click the button at any time to cycle through the color options. So one, two, we got green. One, two, we got blue. It's kind of like a purplish blue. And then back to red. Uh, honestly, I think that red is the brightest out of all three, but I go between red and blue. But red is going to be the brightest in my opinion, but the, you guys can debate that if you want. Um, single click uh, at any time to cycle through the lighting mode. So here we go. Here's the strobe. It's kind of fast. And then this one, I think it's a little bit slower. Which personally, I think I like this one best. It's just a little bit, it's like almost solid, but it kind of blinks a little bit. And hold, um, hold it down for two to three seconds again to turn it off. One, two, three, and it should be off. Easier to tell when it's on solid. Uh, but yeah, so I will show you guys how this goes on a shoe. Again, I know most of you guys probably already tried this. Uh, this is for the newbies out there. I'm pretty much a newbie when it comes to the running world. Uh, I've only been doing it really, like seriously for a year. And by seriously, I mean like doing 5Ks and stuff and actually paying attention to my health and fitness. All right, gonna show you guys how these things go on. Not that you guys uh, can't figure it out yourselves. Go ahead and put this on. Like I mentioned before, this thing is, they have little spikes. Oh, where's the camera? There it is, little spikes on there. If you guys can see that grip, gives you really, really strong grip. Uh, these things aren't gonna go anywhere, guys. So, go ahead and put this on here. Like that. And I'm real gentle, because I know these shoes are expensive. They also have that, um, what's it called, atom net, so they have little holes. So that's probably why these shoes are actually best for this uh, product. But uh, yeah, so we go ahead and turn these on. Go with red today. Let's see if I can get these in sync. Yeah, so pretty cool looking lights. Sure you guys can see those but yeah so we're gonna take these for a run and uh see how they work uh and see how they look i'll try to get some shots outside for you guys to sh uh, show you how bright they are um in the nighttime they, they're pretty bright i think so but uh, i'll get back to y'all in a second All right, I'm back from my run, um, and uh, yeah, I, I do like these things. They're actually pretty good. Now, I will say, I think I might have screwed up on the right one, and uh, I think whenever I went outside, I was I got in my head a little bit about it. I wanted to kind of put it perfectly, and I readjusted it, but it's really dark outside, as you could probably see uh, in my little footage there of running and walking in them. Um, so I think I pushed it down too far, which made it loose. I, I think I put it on right here with the lights. I, you know, you open these up and you and you really dig it in there. You find a nice sweet spot to set these in, and they don't move because the left one was fine. It didn't move uh, at all actually. The right one was a little bit loose, and that was my fault. That was user error, I believe. But it stayed on, it never fell off. Uh, at first, I did keep looking down to make sure uh, that they were on. But they stayed there, and it wasn't until the very end that I actually noticed it was getting a little loose. But uh, it didn't fall off. That was, I think, my fault. Um, but I do, I do like these things. Now, um, you know, I've seen other uh, products on the market. Like I saw somebody with a, a headlamp one day. That I personally think it's a little much. I think it's a little distracting for people walking by you. Um, there's like light up uh, vests or like little string lights that kind of go like around a vest, a vest sort of thing around your chest. I don't really like those. You almost look like a stick figure walking around. I don't really think they, I mean, they obviously do something, but to me, I just think they're a little weird looking, honestly. You kind of look like a stick man walking around in, in the night. Um, so I don't really like those too much. I think these right here are, are the perfect, uh, uh, I guess, remedy for, for being able to be seen at night, but you're not like putting something on super heavy or something that's very intrusive. Uh, this it's, it's on your feet. And, you know, one, one thing that I did notice that, that I could feel the pressure on uh, around my heel. So I, I, would, I knew that they were still on. You know, I, I mentioned I kept looking down. Uh, after a while, I was, I was um, 
I got used to that little pinch. It, not, it didn't hurt. I'm saying it's like a little pressure on the back of your heel that you can feel just to kind of let you know that it's still there. Um, but, you know, just looking down just takes two seconds to see um, that the light's still on. But I did like these. Um, I do think if you get a good price for them, they are worth it. Like I mentioned, uh, I found one for, I think it was like twelve fifty after tax and everything on eBay shipped, which I think is a decent price. I think 30 bucks, whatever it was, twenty nine ninety five. dollars I think that's too much for these. Now, they are uh, really good quality. They're super, he not heavy, heavy, like it's bad. I mean, like they're super, you can just tell they're sturdy, they're thick, they're heavy. They they have, um, like if they one were to fall off, I bet it wouldn't break. Um, it feels like it has some good quality to it. Um, I feel like the battery power is really, really good with these. Like I mentioned, eight hours if you have it on solid, 12 hours if you leave it blinking. Uh, that's a long time. Three hours to fully recharge on a dead battery. I, honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to run out of juice. I, I don't, probably the furthest I've ran so far is a 10 mile nonstop, and that took me, or a 10K, I'm sorry, a 10K nonstop. And that's just over an hour, like a, an hour and two minutes. So I still got seven hours of full life with the full light, and then uh, you know, 11 hours of blinking light left. So I'm never going to go through that, um, honestly. So I think that's that's like overkill on the energy, which is great, right? You have more power than you need, uh, and that's that's awesome. Um, I like the design. Um, you know, I, I think it's a, I think it's a solid product. Again, it's, this isn't like the greatest thing in the world, but it's I think it's really cool. And they're super small; they stay out of your way. I think that they, for the size and for the price, you're getting a lot of safety. Again, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming people can see this pretty bright. I mean, if you looked at look back at that video, it's lighting the ground around me pretty good. So if you have two of these on and you're, it's moving like this, people are going to see you and they'll they'll see you coming. Um, you know, like it said I think it was uh, 1,200 feet away or something like that, 2,400 feet. Um, it's a pretty good distance. So people will be able to see you. They'll get out of your way. Uh, there will be no collisions. Uh, but again, if you get a good price for these things, I think it's a solid product. Um, I think retail, 30 bucks for one, it's too much. You're not, don't pay $60 for two of these. That's not even including tax. You can get at least two for 20 or 25 bucks for both of them. I think that's a good deal. I think um, it's, it's, you guys are getting a good product for, for around 25 bucks for both. Uh, again, they're waterproof too. That's really awesome. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys have tried these uh, Nathan Lightspurs RXs. Uh, LED footlights. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these uh, down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Uh, but again, I liked them. And thanks again to my girlfriend for getting me um, one. Um, or I guess just the idea of her getting me one got me got me two. So uh, thanks again for that. And um, yeah, leave the comments down below, guys. Let me know uh, how your day is going. Let me know uh, if you like these or not. And please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. Follow me on Instagram, the, the Chubby Runner on Instagram. Uh, I actually have I do a lot more posts on there. I like doing memes and and just, uh, you know, uh, it's more of an accountability page for me. Uh, I started it almost about a year ago. Probably already had my one-year anniversary that I started the page. But, yeah, it's just an accountability page. It's for me to hold me accountable to, to keep running. Um, I've shown a little bit of weight loss on there. I've uh, lost probably 30 or 40 pounds, I think, since I started the page. Um, so, yeah, it keeps me going. And, it, you know, I love doing product reviews. It just keep, this Doing this stuff holds me accountable, and that's why I'm doing it. It makes me feel I'm actually contributing, so it keeps me motivated to keep running. So uh, this is more all for me than you, for you guys. But if I can help someone out there, great. And, uh, guys, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.